What is going on today, YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Today, we're talking spicy god changes. We had some absolutely fantastic changes just last patch. Made 11 characters just a lot more interesting, a lot more fun, and it made their skill ceiling go up, which is perfect. That's what Smite needs. It needs skill ceiling characters. We have a lot of bottom end floor characters that are just easy to pick up. We need those top ends so that the SPL and the high rank players, uh, or even players that just want to master one of these more difficult characters, can actually master and learn from. Today, I've got eight gods that I think should be looked at for the next set of spicy changes. Obviously, this shouldn't be an every patch thing, so I'm not hoping for 10.10, .10, but maybe at the beginning of next year or at the just end of this year, they look at some of these characters as gods of, that they can actually look at and maybe change a lot with. Starting with the assassins, the first one I think they should look at is pretty obvious, Bastet. I think this character has gone through so many changes, and I think now she's landed in a spot where she is okay. My problem with Bastet is that all of her strength lies in her first three abilities. I think her Huntress of Bast ultimate is very lacking at this point. I think they made it where she turned into kind of a pick character, which is fine, but now she has this weird, not normal flow for a character. I think her one, two, three flow together really well, but her, now her ult doesn't match it. So they have a couple ways to go with it. They, ha they can make her into this pick character with her Huntress of Bast ultimate, play around that or they focus on her lifesteal and her poke potential on her one two three and that's what she's going to be going for either way is fine you can change it so she has a little bit more hard cc in her kit outside of her ultimate to make her more of that pick character and a little less safety if she's going to be a pick character or in my opinion they just need to change this ultimate up and it needs to be something that allows her to play that more pork it pork more poke or oriented style and it just makes her more exciting her ult is just kind of like thrown in there it was a good uh, attempt at switching up the character but i think her ult just kind of lacks with the rest of her kit and that's personally what i would change next up nemesis i think them could have so much more potential in her kit i think the goddess of vengeance is more of the goddess of winning trying to win one-on-ones nice job team i think her care uh, her kit is super basic i think it's very easy to understand i think there's a lot they could do with this kit i'm not smart enough to fully talk about what they should change and what they should make it i'm not a god designer but i'll talk about what just feels not great with her she's very reliant on just winning a, a 1v1 or she's very reliant on using her ultimate to allow her allies to kill i think this basic style of her is fine but when you look at her one two three they're very one-dimensional in what they can do. I think her ult is fine as a one-dimensional ability, but some things they should look to do with her one, two, and three is just make it so it's more spicy. Add something into this one. It's just two dashes that you can auto-attack between. Add some, like, combo to her kit where if you dash in it and you use your two in between it, your two gets augmented to something else, and your two, instead of, you know, slowing in the middle, it actually roots. And then maybe when you shield in between your one's dashes, you get double the shield or something like that, but it's for half the time. So if you're going to get bursted really hard, you can dash into something, use your shield. It only lasts one second instead of 2.5, and then you can dash out. Something like that, just to make it so there's more depth to her character. She's a very basic character, and I would say she's boring. I know some people have fun with her, but just adding a little bit of flavor to her would just be great. Next up, warriors. My two least favorite warriors are both very boring, and the one is very obvious. Nike. Her passive is, I mean, obviously we got to look at this passive. What a terrible terrible passive. This is a 1% increase for every goal. So if you eliminate 10 gods, you're getting 1% extra power and movement speed. You get her second goal of eliminating 250 minions. You get 2% and then 3% at this. It's just so like basic, boring. I don't know entirely what they could do, but something with the goddess of victory in her passive to make it so when she does reign victorious over over an enemy maybe she gets a kill like when she gets a kill she gets some sort of buff or something like that i don't know something where this is just this is just really boring you don't really think about it you're not like let's play around our second goal i don't like it i think the rest of her kit is at least okay i think we should look at giving her ultimate something else instead of just this massive shield and slow because that's really all it is it's just a shield and it's a slow i mean it does some semblance of damage but there's nothing exciting about this ability i actually think her one two and three is pretty exciting one does a lot of damage Damage. you can juke around with it and it disarms it's cool the two is really nice i like that there's actually an auto attack blocking mechanic but it's on a character that's just never played so you don't get to see it and then her jump is fine it's a, it's like any other jump so i do like her one two three but her alt and her her passive are something that i would look at you know shift around make it make it a little bit more exciting next up achilles i think this character is super exciting when he's in meta that's like the entire point of this and i think currently he's just like a, a stat checker type of soul laner if he's ahead he's gonna beat you if he's behind he's not gonna beat you you. There's not a ton of oomph with his kit. It's just, are the numbers that I have better than your numbers with my passive and with my two? And I think that's boring. 
I think both his two and his passive are just so basic. I think keeping the heal on the two is that something you can play around is nice. But something else to make this two, like something active. So you get like a heal and then maybe you get, I don't know, uh, something that just makes this, this ability exciting. Because you're just using this ability in between using your three and your one. And then you're kind of dashing around a little bit. I mean, it's fine. But it's just a boring playstyle in my opinion. And his two and his passive just make it so he's super stat checky. And that's all he does really. His ult is cool to see in action. People playing around like the execute. Am I going to Aegis it? Can I juke this? Uh, I can hide behind my ally. I, I think he's probably got the most interesting of the executes. The chain executes are really cool. But they are blockable. So that, that is interesting to me. I think Al Kuang's is super boring. Just stabs you, goes into the air. And you have to beads it or Aegis it. And then Thanos is fine. But I like Achilles a lot. But something with his two and his passive is what I would look at. Guardians. Just one. Not too surprising. Kumba. Huh? I don't know exactly how I put this together. But my opinion and something they could do with Kumba that would be really interesting to me is change his Mez to his passive and make it something active. Where I don't know what, what entirely I'd want to put at his three. But being able to maybe reduce the enemy's power by 1% for every ability you hit with. And then that, at that eighth ability... You actually mez the the enemy for for seven seconds not seven seconds sorry not seven seconds like three seconds or something like that so then he has that cc that he can use his other abilities to proc it like they're slowly getting more tired the more you hit them with abilities and autos and then when you hit them with that eighth ability or that eighth auto you put them to sleep for a little bit and then if you have cc up in your other abilities you can wake them up instantly and then maybe still get this attack speed and um the movement speed debuff something like that would be really cool for kumba because right now he's got one of the worst one two three abilities in the game i think keeping his one just giving it a buff somewhere make it so he like runs over the enemy and remove the root from this one and then change this one into a stun when he lands the strike onto you so then there's just more interesting stuff in his kit because his one two three is really boring to me but i like his ultimate i actually think they can make this scale down 75 maybe down to 55 or something so that's his kind of niche where he's just this alt spammer starting with persephone yeah i know this passive it's complained about all the time it's still a good passive don't get me wrong but this part of dying just feels like a pain more than anything 90 percent of people are just going into passive and instantly canceling it the her passive is basically just this the seeds and the gold that's got to change i don't know what you want to do with this maybe make it so she can cc even when she's dead but does no damage so can, she can still slow with her one and then root and i don't even know what her ult if you hit somebody with is called but whatever whatever she does with that i think you can make it with this and then maybe give her two and her three also slows when she's in passive something like that and then make her one go through walls that's what it needs to happen this ability needs to go through walls and probably through enemies too it literally hits one character for 300 plus 90 percent and then it slows it is on a low cooldown but it's a skill shot it's very hard to hit and the second mage i'm going to talk about chronos in my opinion this is one of the coolest characters to watch at a high level and we haven't been able to see it for a really long time. Watching Emil back in Season 2 play the Kronos. Watching Barra, Yaman, all these really, really good backliners play this character. Position, dive, and then get the ult off. It's such a high risk, high reward type style. And I think we we need to look at this character and get him back in the meta. There's been a lot of changes to make him try to reach into that playable niche. Something they could do is making his ult cast a little bit quicker. And make it so he doesn't go as far away. So then there's like a benefit of you're not going to heal as much most likely. But you're more likely to get your ultimate off. And then they can put the cooldown back up. Because this scales down really well. But a lot of the times you're just getting one shot before you can even get rewind off. I think his 1, 2, 3 are really cool as base abilities. Maybe you could give something else to his passive. But I don't know what else. His passive is, is pretty basic. I don't know how you'd want to buff it. But making it so it's rewind. Or um, I know it is kind of like Echo from League of Legends. But... Having him do damage when he gets his rewind off in the area that he lands at would also be kind of cool. Maybe that buffs him, uh, just brings his numbers up a lot, and he becomes kind of ability-based, which is maybe not what you want. But something like that, I'm, I'm interested in anything you guys got for Kronos, if you guys have any ideas. But I think this character is really cool to watch at the top level, and I'd be interested in seeing him again. And then lastly for the Hunters, I only have one Hunter that I really want to talk about and look at, and it's the Ice Queen scotty i think this character has so much potential as just a, a super cool character but right now she's just this ability like amc but super unsafe type of character i think they need to make it so she is super 
or more reliant on auto attacks and not, not super reliant but just more reliant on auto auto attacks to make her kit scale with auto attacks in some form maybe her dog when you hit the enemy also gets another auto attack onto him but lower his auto attacks down to like two or three and get allow him to be hit by abilities so in 1v1s he's not as frustrating but there's some potential for when if, you, if you're getting dove you can maybe make it so she's a lot harder to deal with i also think the rune of the hunt is fine but having to put so many abilities into your second ability and then having your one and your three be super useless just does not feel great all of her abilities are things you want to put points into her one is her lane clear and it's also a really good poke and it's her her 1v1 kind of chase potential her three is also 1v1 chase potential it's also clear but it's also giving her survivability her two her dog is just useless until you get points into your two and then her ultimate is probably the only ability that you really don't need to put points into so it kind of becomes the ability you default to last and you want to max out your one two three which also doesn't feel great because you want this root duration up so maybe give it so her, her kit, her base kit is a little stronger and gives a little less putting points in every ability to give her a true ability you want to put points into. So she just feels better and feels stronger. I don't know how you want to work auto attacks into the character, but just something where auto attack Scotty is something you can do. Maybe make it so you're knock immune when winter's grasp is out or you're slow immune or maybe make it so something just really interesting where she's just always slow immune because... I mean, she's the ice queen and she she's always cold, so she can't get slowed. I don't know, something like that. I think that'd be cool. But yeah, there's eight characters that I think deserve spicy buffs next. I'm excited to see what Hyrus comes up with. This last patch was super interesting to me and I really liked it. Do you guys have any gods that you want to see spicy buffed? Or if you do like my ideas, maybe would you guys have anything specific that you want to see with the characters I mentioned? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys again next time. <gasps> Peace.